has really changed the landscape in ataxia research. Dr. Harry T. Orr. Dr. Orr is one of our nation's leading researchers, exceptional mentor, uh, who has a passion and a commitment in helping those with ataxia, who is jointly responsible for finding the first ataxia gene, spinal cerebral ataxia. <laughs> many prestigious awards and recognitions, uh, including one of the highest honors in the field of health and medicine, becoming a member of the Institute of Medicine of National Academies. However, with all of Dr. Zor's distinguished awards, accomplishments, and recognition, on September 12th, 2015, Dr. Orr was recognized by Minnesota Governor Mark Dayton's office declaring September 12, 2015 as Dr. Harry Orr Day. <laughs> I'd like to present this plaque to Dr. Orr which reads, in recognition of the exceptional service, this honor is bestowed upon Dr. Harry T. Orr for the significant research accomplishments and the hope you give to Ataxia families. We are greatly indebted to you for your visionary guidance, extraordinary leadership, profound wisdom, and unwavering commitment to helping the Ataxia community. Well, I, I need to um, fess up here a little bit. Mike gave me a heads up that this was coming. So I did put on my good shirt. <laughs> um, obviously, there are, are numerous people to thank, and I'm, all of you out there, who, you know who you are, and I do appreciate your efforts so much. Uh, but just one person I really want to thank is, is, is Larry Scott, who actually introduced me, if you will, to ataxia, and specifically the ataxia in, in, in the Scott's Weir family. And that started me on, on the road that has got us to where we are now. And, and the only other thing I want to say is that it is indeed a privilege and an honor to be part of the ataxia community. Thank you very much. Award. Congratulations to all of our award recipients. Let's give them all a big round of applause.